Welcome to today's video. Today we are gonna be talking about favorites for the month of February. I feel like I just filmed January favorites. Maybe it's because February is a short month, but um, I have a good mix of beauty and uh, fashion pieces here, so let's go ahead and get started. The L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation is a favorite of mine. I've talked about it a lot um, in videos and also on Instagram. I am loving this foundation. It is such a beautiful foundation. It is very, very lightweight. Um, it gives pretty good coverage. I would classify this as like a medium-ish coverage foundation. I find that I can build it to get a little bit more coverage. It looks very natural on the skin. It doesn't look, um, doesn't really necessarily look matte. It doesn't look radiant either. It just makes the skin look healthy and hydrated. Um, it is nice and long wearing. I absolutely love it. I think it's a fantastic foundation regardless of it being drugstore. I think that this like rivals and beats some high-end foundations that I have tried. I am the shade 460. Um, it also has an SPF of 25. I feel like L'Oreal just kind of owns the drugstore foundation. I should, I take that back. I shouldn't make that claim because Revlon has some good ones. Wet n Wild has some good ones. I, I guess overall, I feel like drugstore store has really come a long way with their foundations. It's almost like, is there really a need to buy high-end foundations? I don't know. This one is fantastic. I think it's great for mature skin. I think it's great for um, non-mature skin. I think it would be good for all skin types. I don't really see a skin type that um, should have any issues with it. Even dry skin should enjoy it because it is pretty hydrating and it gives a hydrating look. Um, and more oily skin, I feel like it's long enough wearing that you would be able to uh, have wear this as well as you'd wear any of your other long wearing foundations. So I really, really love it. Next is this gloss that I have on, and it is the Milani Keep It Full Lip Gloss in Luminoso. I love this formulation of lip glosses. It's one of my favorites, and I just picked up this color and added it to my collection. Actually, over the weekend. I, I have just had this for a few days, but I absolutely love it. Um, I have it paired on top of Bite Beauty Lipstick and Sugar Cane, which is kind of just like a nice little kind of cool tone pastel baby pink. And then this lip gloss is beautiful. It's pink and it has some gold flex to it. So it just like, oh, it's just beautiful. It's a color you could wear alone and then you could pair it on top of anything. As you can see, it's pretty translucent. So it's not really gonna alter the color of a lipstick too much. It's just gonna add that those gold flex to kind of reflect light and just give it the most prettiest like glossy effect. I love it. Next, I want to talk about Sydney and Grace. Sydney and Grace is, um, I don't necessarily think it's a new brand, but I feel like it's kind of been getting buzzed about on YouTube with other YouTube creators. In our Beauty Chit Chat Facebook group page, people are going wild over this brand. Everyone's uh, showing their Sydney Grace hauls. They're posting looks that they're creating with a Sydney Grace. Well, I finally got like a, my first little shipment of Sydney Grace products, tons of shadows. I haven't even unboxed or tried half of them yet, but I have been wearing these few shadows and they they are a, definitely a favorite. Um, the quality of these shadows is really, really nice. Very pigmented, easy to work with, easy to blend. They're about $6. They're very, very inexpensive. Um, so I have three shades to share with you guys. The first one is the shade Blushed. And I actually wore this to a gala that we went to over the weekend. It's so beautiful. It's just like this really nice, warm copper color. It kind of reminds me of a penny, like a fresh, clean penny. And then this shade, which is called Always Yours, show this to you, it's so beautiful. Both of these are really foiled and metallic. This is like a purpley pink with um, you know, that high, high metallic finish, so beautiful. I actually filmed, did I film videos with both of these? I did film a video with the, with the um, copper one and I did film a tutorial now that I recall with the Always Yours, so you guys will be seeing these looks soon, if not before this video goes up. And then this other one is called East, Eastern Rise and this is a matte like really dark eggplant shade. It almost reminds me, if you can remember that shadow by MAC called Shadowy Lady, it almost reminds me of that with like a mixture of Shadowy Lady and Sketch from MAC, which used to be my two all-time like deep purple matte shades. So beautiful, love, love, love. And then also a blush by Sydney and Grace, which I have on my cheeks today. It is called um, Always and Forever, and I'm gonna show you how this swatches on the hand. It's this really pretty kind of cool toned, soft, dusty pink. So it's right there below all of the shadows. 
But as you can see, this product has a lot of color payoff, really, really nice quality um, and very affordable. So I'm happy to have discovered Sydney Grace. Also, it's an indie small brand, so I always love when I can support brands like that. Um, they did create a discount code for you guys that I'll leave in the description box below. It's not an affiliate link. I don't earn any commission on that, um, but I will leave it there for you guys. If you ever want to shop that uh, line, you can use that code. Okay, so let's talk about this makeup bag. I literally just bought this two days ago. Full disclaimer, I've had this for like two days. I haven't even had to gotten to use it on a trip yet, so I need to be totally honest with you guys. But I'm excited to use this because we are traveling this week for a few days, and um, I wanted a new makeup travel case. And I had seen this at Sephora a few weeks ago, and I didn't purchase it, and then I decided I'm gonna buy it for this trip and test it out. But this is what it looks like, and the reason I love it is because as you can see it so it stores a lot these, these are other products i'm going to talk about i'm just i just have these in here because i wanted to carry them upstairs but there are lots of different pocket organizers in here um there's like one big pocket and then you have two smaller pockets here there's also pockets here um there's also this little flap here where you can store your brushes on the top and then here so i imagine putting like eyeliners uh, eye eyeliners eye lip pencils mascaras those ty types of things in here my brushes here my bigger products in here i like that i can separate the foundation and little pockets i just think it's really really functional and i like the size i mean it's not tiny it's a pretty decent size but i feel like you can pack it away in your suitcase really easily and then of course it has a little hanger so you can hang it from a hotel bathroom um hook or anything and then there's also this zipper pocket here so I'm excited to use this I will let you guys know how um, it travels uh, but I did put a lot of thought into it before I purchased it and I think that it's just really really functional um, and I like it so I wanted to share that with you guys this dry conditioner from Orbe, I am loving. It's similar to a dry shampoo, but it leaves the, so the soft. It leaves the hair really soft. Um, it's called Soft Dry Conditioner Spray. So Gracie uses this on me, and um, I'll go this way. And she uses it pretty liberally when she puts it on me. She applies it um, in my roots and then kind of works it in. Um, oh, it smells so amazing, you guys. Orbe products, hands down, just smell incredible. And it does really leave the hair feeling soft. It's different than dry shampoo. A lot of dry shampoos can kind of leave the hair feeling a little um, dry or gritty. It literally feels like I've just conditioned my hair and washed it. It feels so, so good. So I am loving this product. I need to do a video on my favorite Orbe products. I mentioned on Instagram that I was working on that and then things just got a little crazy, but that is on my list. I will have a video up on my favorite Orbe products and what I'm currently using on my hair um, in the next, give me two or three weeks, two or three weeks and I promise that video will be up. This SNS nail uh, dip powder. Uh, I've linked this in a lot of videos because I had been wearing it exclusively for like a month or six weeks. I bought it on Amazon and I take it to get my nails done. My nails are a different color now because we had a gala this weekend and I wanted my nails to be deeper. But this is kind of my go-to like staple color. Um, once I take these off, I'm gonna go back to this. It's the prettiest like palest pink. It's, it's like a whitish pink or a pinkish white, I should say. No, more of a whitish pink if that makes sense. It also comes comes in a gel polish, so I'm gonna link both. If you like to get the SNS dip, you can purchase it and take it to the salon, or if you do gel, I'll, I'll link that as well. But I really like the color. It's just the perfect, it's not It's not white, and it's not like, like baby pink. It's kind of in between the two. It's called Chit Chat, and the brand is Kiera Sky. So another drugstore product, Revolution Beauty's Bake and Blot Powder. Um, this was sent in a big PR package that they sent me and I really like it. It's the Bake and Blot Translucent Powder. And it also came in another one like Banana Shade, but I haven't tried the banana yet. I've only tried this lighter, kind of whiter one. It's really nice. Um, I've used this a probably three times over the last week. And it does um, give the skin kind of a soft blurred look. I really just apply it under my eyes. I don't apply it all over. And I do feel like it kind of smoothed out my pores here on my cheeks and it was very very light um, it did it didn't seem heavy it didn't seem to um, magnify any texture under the skin and it gave like the slightest brightness it wasn't like really intense brightness it was just a very subtle slight brightness um, but I really like it it's really 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 nice and pretty it almost has like this most subtle subtle sheen to it 
not shimmer at all, but almost like this most subtle sheen. I, I don't even know if this is going to do it justice, but it just reflects light in the um, prettiest way. So I, I really love this. And I'm not sure the cost of this, but it's Revolution Beauty. So it's, you know, a drugstore and very affordable. This lip primer by Glam 35, I am loving. This does such a great job of keeping my lip color on so much longer than without anything. Um, it also smooths and fills in lines on the lips and it gives the lips a more full look. I noticed before I apply this, my lips, uh, you see a lot of texture in my lips, a lot of lines, um, which causes my lips to look smaller. Uh, but once I put this on, it fills in all those lines and my lips actually look larger and more full, even without applying any lipstick or lip liner or gloss, just this alone. Um, I let it kind of set for a couple of minutes and then I will apply lipstick on top of it. It does work best if you apply this to dry lips. So if you have a lip balm on or chapstick, um, you want to remove that and apply this. I really like it. Uh, Glam 35 is actually the, the founder of Glam 35 I met on Instagram. Real sweet, sweet gal. She was following me and we just kind of started connecting um, through DMs and um, I was watching her and I was seeing that she was launching a brand and so I reached out to her and I was like, I want to try your product. What's the best product to try? Um, and I believe it at the time she has two products. She has this and then another uh, face base. It's a foundation primer. Uh, and I'm just loving this. So I'm going to leave her site linked down below. Definitely check her out and give her some love. Tell her I said hi. She's a super sweet, sweet, sweet lady. Um, really am happy. And I love when I can like connect with people through doing this, you know, and, and like form friendships with people. So I know I mentioned this on Instagram and I had several of you say that you purchased it and that you're loving it too. So I had to give it a shout out in my favorites. Okay. I didn't talk about this in last month's favorites. I meant to, and I completely forgot my mirror, you guys by Glamcore, the Ricky Ricky skinny mirror. This thing is amazing. It is so, just amazing. It's so filthy and dirty. I'm sorry. Um, so this comes with a stand like this. You kind of set it right here like that. This is how it sits. It has five different settings for the lights. I actually need to charge mine. Um, the only thing I will say about this is it does require charging like at least once a week. The battery lasts. If you have it on the highest setting, I think it lasts about four hours. If you have it on the low, no, I'm sorry. It lasts about two hours. If you have it on the highest setting, if you have it on the lowest setting, it'll last, um, four hours. So it does require some charging, but you guys, the light on this is just like, ugh. Perfect. <laughs> it also comes with an attachment like this. It's this magnifying mirror that you can pop on here and it's magnetic. There you go. So that just pops on here. And so now you have this magnifying mirror. And then let me show you where is the other little piece that comes with it's somewhere around here, but it's a cell phone attachment. So it magnetizes here and it holds your cell phone. So if you ever do, if you're like a makeup vlogger or you like to do videos, um, you have this fantastic light and you can record off your phone. So it's pretty cool. The Grande Lash MD, you guys, I finally feel like my lashes are back to um, normal and actually better than normal, better than before I had lash extensions. I don't have any false lashes on now. This is just lash primer and mascara. I do use this religiously every single night I use this. I do think I'm at a point now where I don't have to use it every night. I could probably back off to using it three or four nights a week to maintain the level that my lashes are at, but to get them here, it required every single night for three months. Um, but it's fantastic. It works really great. It's the Grande Lash MD, and I got this on Sephora's website. Um, and I just paint a little coat right at my lash line, basically where you put, would put eyeliner every single night before bed. So this oil, if you've been following me for a long time, and I mean like a couple of years, you will probably remember me talking about this. I haven't talked about it in a while. Um, the Amber Oil by the brand Nemat or Nemot, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I buy this at Whole Foods, you guys, for like 11 or $12, and it is the best fragrance I have ever owned. It smells amazing, amazing. Um, I kind of put this off to the side for a while, and I've been wearing different perfumes, but I picked this back up over the weekend, and I wore it to that gala, and my husband was like, oh, that smell, it smells so good. Um, it, I have a few friends that wear this, and every time they walk, I walk by them like in the preschool halls or something, I'm like... <laughs> She's wearing it. <laughs> it smells so good. So it's just an oil and I just put it on my wrist and then I put it here on my neck. Oh my, I can't even describe the smell. It smells amazing. They have like a white amber or amber musk. Don't do those. Do the straight up amber. I will, I can link it for you, but I, I don't, I, I'm, I want to say proceed with caution on Amazon because I ordered one off Amazon one time and it smelled like it, but it was diluted. It wasn't nearly the same quality as what I 
pick up at Whole Foods. So you can either pick it up at Whole Foods or maybe you can find it directly on their website. I'm not sure. Um, I will see what I can find online and link it down below. But if you order it off Amazon, read the reviews, look at the seller, make sure there's tons of positive reviews and it's just not a random, um, a random seller. You know what I mean? This stuff is amazing though. It smells so, so good. They also make a perfume, I think, and the brand actually sent me that like a year ago, and it smells nice because it smells just like this, but the oil is the way to go. The oil is just, uh, it's already a pretty light scent already. It's not overpowering at all, um, and this is just more concentrated. I felt like the perfume was really, um, really soft. I, I would go with the oil. It'd be nice to layer the two, but if you're doing one or the other, go with the oil. Full disclaimer, I just received this like three days ago, but I'm loving it. It's the Colleen Rothschild's Honey Vanilla Body Butter. They sent me a, a couple of other products from this new line that they have, the Honey Vanilla um, Body Product line. <gasps> you guys, this smells so good. And honestly, I typically don't use like a body butter like this daily. I use something that's in a pump, like a lotion that I can just pump really easily. I have, I while body butters are great because they're very like luxe and thick um, and they feel amazing, they're thicker. And so they take a little bit more time to rub into the skin. And I just don't have time for that usually when I'm taking a shower. This one is not though. This one's nice and thick, but it blends into the skin quickly. Um, it doesn't take any more time to, to work it into the skin as it does my lighter weight lotions that I use from a pump. But the smell of this, the scent is just so, so good. Um, I usually don't like like really fragranced or really highly scented body lotion products that smell real fruity or real sweet, like overpowering. I don't like that. Um, but this one, even though it's, it's got a nice strong smell, um, I don't, I, I, I don't mind it. I love it. I actually, I love it. Maybe it's because it's vanilla and it's, I, I just feel like vanilla is one of those scents that is so just so soft and pretty and it doesn't interfere with other fragrances that you wear. I love it. It smells so, so, so nice. And again, the texture of it is just really, I don't know if you could see that, but it, it's like a thick, it's like a mixture between a body butter and a lotion, honestly. It's not so thick and pasty like a thicker body butter can be, but it's definitely more rich than a, a normal lotion. Love it. I'm going to put some on right now. So I wanted to report back on the T3 Carelux dryer. Um, I received this um, from T3 a couple of weeks ago and I was so excited to get it. I had purchased the Featherweight, which is this one here, um, a couple of months ago and I love this dryer. I've talked about it a lot, I absolutely love it. After I did some research, I had kind of wished I had purchased the Carelux because the Carelux has some really neat features like when you set it down, it automatically turns off. So I blow dry my hair in sections and I am constantly setting and turning off the dryer to get a new section. With this one, you don't have to turn it off. You literally just set it down, it turns off, you pick it up, it turns back on. Um, so I've been using them and I wanted to give you my comparisons between the two. Um, so in size, the Curelux is quite a bit smaller. You can see this is the Featherweight, this is the Curelux. So I, I love the size. I do love that auto sense feature. Um, it's really nice to just set it down, turns off, pick it up. Um, however, I also noticed that so the sensors are right here. I believe there's one here and I think these are some too. And sometimes when I'm drying like this, I might hit the sensor in the wrong way and it shuts off for a second and then I just turn my wrist and it turns back on. So I'm still kind of getting used to um, drying my hair with it and what what sets the sensor off and what sets it you know on. Um, I still really like it. I do think that I prefer the Curelux over the Featherweight. They're both fantastic. This one is more expensive than the Featherweight but I do prefer it. I feel like it dries my hair just a little bit faster than the Featherweight. What I love about both of these is that it doesn't feel re like really hot air. Um, I've had dryers in the past that are high-end dryers and that the air is so hot that um, it'll like burn my ear if I leave it in the wrong place too long. When I first started using this dryer, I remember thinking, this is not really hot. Is this really gonna dry my hair? But it did, it dried my hair and it dried it really quickly. So I like that the air seems more gentle on the hair. Um, my Revlon dryer, you know, the, the brush dryer styler in one, I really like that product, but it gets really hot hot and I have to be real careful with how I hold it because it'll burn. I mean, my skin will get burnt and my skin was actually drying out for a while. And I made the connection that I was using that dryer so much that I'm sure that's what it was, that hot air on my skin. Um, and I kind of went away from using that. I really like that. I think it's a great tool and it's easy to use and it gives this hair a really nice style, but I do think using it every single day, like I was using it for the last, I don't know, two months, I noticed that my hair seemed drier. So, um, I do definitely think there's a difference between like a high quality, 
blow dryer and a tool like that. So I just wanted to kind of update you guys on this, but this is definitely a favorite of mine. I really, um, I love it. I gifted this one to Paul and um, he's pretty happy about that. <laughs> All right, I have a couple fashion pieces. I'm gonna move through them quickly because this video is getting a little bit long, but these earrings are by Kendra Scott, these hoop earrings. I love these. These are the rose gold ones. Um, I also have them in silver. They're very lightweight, even though they're like large and kind of statement hoops, they are extremely lightweight. And I love um, right here, like how it sets on the earlobe. It doesn't just, it has this, this cute little like unique piece right here. It's not just your standard hoop, you know? Um, it also comes in regular gold. I don't have that one. I have the silver and the rose gold, but I really love these. I find myself wearing them all the time. Okay, I'm excited to share this with you guys because this is a new brand that I had just discovered. Uh, I went to a retreat a couple weeks ago, actually with Kendra Scott at Miraval. It's a wellness uh, spa here and wellness retreat here in Austin. It's like a it's like a hotel, but they focus on wellness and um, just kind of mindfulness. And it was a really awesome two days. But in their gift shop, I wandered in there and I found these earrings. These are by the brand. I wrote it down over here in my dry erase board. It's called Tai. It's T A I tie and they are the sweetest tiniest little ear craw crawlers do you see how little they are oh I love them they had so many styles that were so cute and sweet and dainty like this little tiny tiny ear studs um, and uh, I kind of want to take this out so you can see how it looks on the ear really love them and they were pretty affordably priced I want to say they were um, around forty dollars so they weren't a um, they weren't a really expensive line or anything. Let me show you how these look. I've, I've been wearing these all the time. Do you see how sweet and little they are? I just love that. I think they're perfect for someone like me that's always in yoga clothes and working out and I want something on my ears, but I don't want any big, you know, gaudy studs. I just want something small and delicate and dainty. I'm definitely going to get online and see where I can order some more of these because they had really cute styles. Okay, I have two pairs of shoes and two tops and then we're done. The first top is this one that I'm wearing. I don't know if I've talked about this or not, but I'm wearing this all the time. <laughs> Sometimes I get on Instagram stories and I'm like, I think you were just wearing that yesterday. <laughs> it's this camouflage tee, but what's really cute, it has this little tie down here. I'll post a picture of it so you can actually see what better a better view of this. But um, I got this from Nordstrom. I think it's by the brand Sanctuary. It comes in a ton of other colors, but I really liked this camo um, color. It's just kind of a basic, easy to wear tee that's got some fun kind of element to it with it being camo. It's not like your standard gray or black, um, which I tend to wear all the time. This blouse by One State, um, I purchased it this month and I'm loving it. I've already worn it like three or four times. It's uh, by the brand One State. I got a size extra small. It has this ruffle around the neckline. Um, it has these really beautiful detail here on the sleeve. Uh, I wore this to a baby shower with white uh, skinny jeans. I also wore it, uh, did I wear it when we went to the Kendra Scott retreat? No, I didn't, but I, that's what I purchased it for. I wore it with dark denim one night. Um, I think it's a great top you can wear to work if you work in an office. I think it's a great top to wear on a night out with girlfriends. Um, I just feel like this is, is one of those pieces that never goes out of style. I love the mustard yellow color. Um, every time I wear this, I get a lot of compliments on it. Um, I just think it's one of those tops that is classic and simple, and it's not like overly trendy at all, but it's also eye-catching, and it, it, you get a lot of compliments when you wear it. So I'm really, really loving it. I finally bought myself a pair of nude suede heels from Sam Edelman. I had a pair of nude heels that I loved, but they were shoes that I wore to work all the time. So I, I kind of should probably toss them out just because they have been so worn to the ground um, that I, I never want to put them on. Like if I'm going out, I, and they aren't shoes that I want to grab for. Um, so I needed a new pair. Um, I love Sam Edelman shoes. I've talked about them before. I just find that they're really comfortable. They're very affordable um, and they've just got really cute, um, like on trend stylish styles, but they're also um, classic staple styles too. So um, I needed a pair of nude heels like this. You know, you just, it's just limitless what you can wear these with. So they're so comfortable too. Um, I did buy a little insert because I have one foot is smaller than the other and my heel does slip out of the shoe that's, that's a little bit big on me. Um, so I still need to put them in here, but I love these. I think they're so, so cute. And I also ordered these from Sam Edelman. They're just a nice kind of basic metallic sandal with a heel, a chunky heel. I forget if these are three or four inches. What do they look like to you guys? They look like four, huh? Um, I actually wore these over the weekend to the gala that we went to and they were super comfortable. I danced my booty off <laughs> at that gala and my feet never bothered me or never hurt. I chose to go with metallic just because I feel like they're like nude shoes. They can go with anything. You can wear them with dark colors. You can wear them with light colors. Um, and this particular color 
color isn't quite gold and it's not quite silver. It's kind of in between the two, so you can wear them either way. I wore it with a royal blue dress, but yeah, I love them. They're so comfortable, and I know that I'm gonna have them for years, so I wanted to share those. I believe this style also comes in a ton of different colors and a few patterns, too. All right, you guys, that wraps up my February favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I would love to know what you guys are loving in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!